Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, we're gonna showcase today the uh, console 227R-2. It's a triple feet, walking feet, cylinder bed sewing machine. Uh, one of the most popular, not the most, one of the popular sewing machine made by console. Um, and we had we have one shipping out today and it's a very good chance for me to make the video and show you guys how this machine and uh, what is the machine do what it could do and what is it for so a lot of bag makers and people that la need a cylinder bed to put their uh, 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 items let's say uh, they need a small area let's say if you want to do a let's say mug cover or something that is leather and you want to put it in there or inside of a bag, leather bag, vinyl bag, canvas. Uh, people love to use these machines. It's made by console. Uh, we have it on a U-shaped table. The customer requested a T-leg with wheel. We have one of our most popular T-leg with wheel, very heavy duty T-leg with wheel. It's on a brushless motor by Gold by New Tech and um, you would also have an option on every sewing machine and this is uh, something that you have to know that on every sewing machine that has a wheel right here that you could adapt a uh, adapt a uh, needle positioning system you could add on now this customer did not want a needle positioning system, but um, if you want the brushless motor, it's one of the ones that you could do. This is 750 brushless motor, and speed up and speed down. And the, start, the other stuff is for um, pretty much programming and for um, uh, when you program, and this is for, um, mm, system i'll show you what it does later on maybe another video okay very nice so uh as, as i said this is a triple feet walking feet and when i say triple feet let me take this out uh i'm gonna let you know what i mean by triple feet so there is a lot of walking foot machine out there but some of them are not triple feet okay triple feet means that it's a needle feet if you look when, you, when, when I sew, the needle travels, the feed dog travels, and the um, inside feet would also travel all together. So it costs triple feet. It's a, a 203470 bobbin, top load uh, bobbin. Um, it's not, can't be a large one. Of, of, uh, although they make one with the large bobbin case, but you can't make on this one a big large bobbin because then the cylinder would be wider. Let me go over the sizes. The table obviously is always the same, 47, but inside you have this tiny room for about 13 inch uh, by 21. This is the um, manual bobbin winder right here as you see um, the machine comes with the thread stand the thread that i'm using today is the t105 polyester this could do all the way to 138 nylon bonded thread you're not going to have any problem with that uh, what comes with the machine is uh, one two three four five of bobbin to the bobbin number for you for later on, if you have a 277R-2, it's 203470, okay? The needle is 135 by 17. This is a little bit of oil, couple of screwdrivers. Um, sorry, the owner's manual, the dust cover, and needle 135 by 17 it comes with size 140 which is 22 wow and a wrench oh here we go the wrench 
Anything else? Yes. And you guys, if you see this one, um, at, when you open up the box, I'm gonna show you what it is. This is for the motor, don't throw it away. Uh, you need to die, I mean, uh, uh, if you wanna re reverse the, um, the direction of the motor, any question you have it here, it's in Chinese and English, and it, it works. It's a very good, you know, it does work. The, the, you know. Anyway, all right. Um, the neck is 10 inch by four and a half inch right here, and underneath is about three inch. Now, it's not a knee lifter, it's a chain right here that raises the feet is about um, half an inch, okay? And I have to lock this even maybe more. Look at that, more than half an inch. I would say three quarter, look at that, beautiful. And you also have the uh, hand lifter in the back. That one is obviously always less, that would be half an inch. Um, this is a safety clutch right here. If you go over something really heavy or you don't know, if you all, all of a sudden show something heavy uh, and the machine gets stuck, you just press this one on and turn the wheel and it would release itself. So it could go on. This is a, a, a stitch length right here from zero to five. And then when you go all the way down, you will go hit reverse. And I'm gonna show you all of that. The oil, whenever you get the machine, you're gonna put the full container of the oil inside here, or not? No. This one, hey, this machine doesn't take oil. Beautiful. Because they have machine that takes oil. So this machine does not take oil, and I'm gonna tell you where the oil goes. I had no idea, it's good. This is the first time I make a video on this machine. Okay, that oil that you see, the oiler goes to all these areas with the red dot, with the red paint here, here, all the way here, here. You do not touch anything uh, when it comes to adjustment right here. Uh, these are the foot pressure. Um, the rest of the stuff you see, everything here, all right? So to start, we already threaded the sewing machine. I have a T105 thread. I'm gonna raise, okay. Just, let me take this out. All right. Uh, Council feet, I have many, many type of feet for this machine. Um, we have coating feet, zipper feet, different type of edge guide feet, layers and layers, I mean, many, many different type. I'm gonna do six layers. We have three and three. I'm gonna put underneath and I'm gonna sew. So you see now, a lot of people wanna know when you, is it one speed or rival? You know, speed high or up? And you see if I go slow, it goes slow. If I put faster, it goes faster. Faster, faster. Now, I could still make it faster going up from here, from the motor. I'm gonna go to 4,000, 5,000. I'm gonna wait for it to start going. See? Now we have six layer here. I'm gonna add another six layer. Look it up. Beautiful. Now, a lot of people want to know what is the size of the cylinder right here, okay? The cylinder is about two and a half inch, top to bottom, two and three quarter. Two and a half by two and three quarter. Uh, again, triple feet, uh, there are a couple of uh, places here that you could adjust, uh, put on your folder and I have bunch of bunch of uh, uh, folders online that you could use. Um, 
And let me continue sewing on this one. Very, very good machine. And I want you to look at the stitching. And this is the stitch. And this is the bag. We have them on red. This is the poly step top. Now, I'm going to take this. And you could like, I'm going to bring it to one. And we're going to start sewing. See, this is still going, but very slow. Very small. Very small. So the highest would be go five. Now, I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna go all the way back to show you that it's gonna do reverse. And let it go. Just to see it came from this size to this tiny, tiny size. Now, we saw this on a different type of machine. And, but I'm gonna just give it a try on this one too. Uh, it's a uh, pretty heavy vinyl with a, uh, I would say three eight, maybe five sixteen or half an inch foam right here. Again, raise, I'm gonna jab it. Voila, this is the red, I mean the black one. Obviously the other machine that, after this machine we're gonna do a, uh, uh, we're going to check all the machines. We have three type of machines that I'm gonna put uh, next to each other and we're gonna try it out. And uh, hey, listen, for people that wanna do, let's say something like this, these are made for this type of sewing. Again, a great sewing machine if you, seen our new tech uh, GC-8B, identical, great machine, great sewing machine. We have a setup on the table and legs. Again, for bag makers, for even shoes, people that do stuff with tiny, tiny uh, places like sleeve that you need to sew on, it would be a great machine. Uh, we never had that on our uh, YouTube channel. It's a great, great sewing machine and uh, Please let me know, please like, thumbs up, share videos, and let me know uh, what else you want me to do for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.